I'm going to go through the answers for the skills practice 8.7. So hopefully this helps. Hopefully you're going to watch this and be better prepared if you have additional questions or hopefully it'll clear up anything. So I'm doing the skills practice 8.7. Question number one just gives you the slope and the y-intercept. Your job is to get it into this format right here. So all you have to do is y equals 7x plus 2. That easy. Question number two, same thing. y equals negative 5x minus 3. Make sure you do minus 3, not plus negative 3. y equals 3 fifths x plus 6, 4, y equals negative 6x plus 7, 5, y equals 2 sevenths x plus 1, and 6, y equals 4 thirds x minus 4. All well, you're doing is substituting for m and x. Question number 7 is a horizontal line crossing at positive 3. We've talked about horizontal lines all the time. They have a zero slope and they're horizontal lines. So it should look like that. Question number eight crosses through the origin. So I know that there's no plus or minus my constant. So it would be plus zero if anything. And if I rise and run, it's going down and it looks like it goes down one, right one. So it should just be negative x. Negative one x would be okay, but it could be simplified more to be just negative x. Question nine, looks like my y-intercept is at positive one. From that point to the next point, it looks like it's rising up two units and running over one. Two over one or just two x plus one like that. Question number 10, looks like my y value is two. And from that point, it looks like it's going down and the next point is down one, two, three, and over one. So negative three x. Wish I had the graph to show you, but I don't. Question number 11. Looks like the y-intercept is at one, two, three, negative four. And my slope looks like it's rising up one. Question number 11 looks like it's going up one into the right two. Question number 12, looks like it's at negative three. So I have y equals, and notice how I'm doing this. I don't know slope, but I know it's minus three. Point to point, looks like it rises one and run one. So just x, like that, x minus three. So those should be easy, and look how fast that went. We did that in less than 45 seconds, or maybe less than a minute. Now we get to the more challenging ones. So starting with question 13, this is where I'm using my notes right here, given two points, and I'm following this. Step one, find the slope. So I have nine comma negative one, six comma negative two. Step one says stack and subtract. Circle the y values, negative two minus negative one over six minus nine. And opposite, you're going to end up with negative 1 here, and you're going to end up with negative 3 here. Two negatives make a positive. So, so far I know that my slope is 1 third. I'm partway there. Just like I have in my notes, see? Stack, subtract. Now I'm here. Almost the same problem. Now I'm at to find the y-intercept. Pick one of those points. I don't care which one. Let's go with 6 comma negative 2. This is x, this is y. So I'm going to take 6, I'm going to substitute it in for x. I'm going to take negative 2 and substitute it for y. 1 third times x 
plus b cancel this becomes 2 negative 2 equals 2 plus b negative 2 to both sides because I'm moving what am I doing I'm adding it shocks me that some of you asked that question um, we've been doing one step equations since chapter 3 so you should know we were adding to make a zero pair right here and b is equal to negative 4 so my equation is y equals one third x minus four. Here's your b, that's your m. Takes a little more room. 14. Question number 14 is 12 comma five, negative four comma one, stack, circle, subtract, I'm just going to keep going here. 1 minus 5 over negative 4 minus 12 gets negative 4. Negative 16. Two negatives make a positive. 1 4. So I have my slope. So, so far I have y equals 1 4 x plus b. Pick one of the points. I'm going to choose negative four comma one. X, Y at the top. Take my X, my Y and substitute it. One equals one fourth times negative four plus B. Cancels, I'm left with one times negative one so 1 equals negative 1 plus b. Why negative 1? Because this 4 cancels this 4 to make a negative 1. And 1 times negative 1. So first, you always multiply. Now, you additive inverse. Always adding. Make your zero pair. b equals 2. y equals 1 fourth x plus Two. Question 15. 10 comma negative 6, negative 2 comma negative 6. Oh, hopefully you can see what I did here. Okay. On this next one, stack it, circle, do your math. Negative 6 minus negative 6 over 10, sorry, minus negative 2, 0 over 12. 0 in the numerator means a 0 slope. So now all I have to do is find b. I know this is only going to be y equals something. So I'm going to use this point. And I've got... So far, I've got y equals 0x plus b. This is x, this is y. Negative 6 equals 0 times negative 2 plus b. Negative 6 equals, this is 0, b. There's your b. Substitute it in. y equals negative 6. Horizontal line, 0 slope. We already knew it was going to be a, a horizontal line because of this. We already knew it was a zero slope, and a zero slope means horizontal line. I needed to find out where, though. I could kind of see it right here, because when these two y values are the same, basically that means that it's going to be a horizontal line. Just a little hint on that. Okay, question 16. It's going to take up a lot of paper, isn't it? 16, 4, 6, 1, 3, stack it, 6 minus 3 over 4 minus 1, 3 over 3 equals 1 whole slope. There's my m. y equals mx plus b. I'm going to pick the point 1, 3. X, Y, I do that every time so I don't make a mistake. 
substitute one times one plus b, three equals one plus b. Get rid of additive inverse, one step equation. You guys really shouldn't be asking me how to solve one step equations. There's m, there's b, here's your equation. Y equals m, I don't need the one, x plus two. Five, 17, six comma three, negative six comma nine, two points. Stack it, subtract it. Try to make sure I'm in the window here. Three minus nine over six minus negative six. Add opposite if you need to, negative six over add opposite, 12 equals negative one half. Y equals negative one half X plus B. Pick a point, six comma three I like, because they're positive. This is X, this is Y. Substitute Y in three equals negative one half times six plus B. One, three cancels. Negative one times three is negative three. So I have Y, neg three equals negative three plus B. Additive inverse, B, M, equation, y equals negative one half x plus six. Do you see? They're all the same. They're all doing the same process over and over again. 18, 8 comma 4, negative 4 negative four comma negative one. Stack it. Subtract it. Negative four minus negative one over eight minus negative four. Add opposite, negative three, add opposite. 12 equals negative one, four. M equals. It's time for B. Pick a point, any point. I'm gonna go with negative four comma negative one. X, Y. Y equals M x plus b. In we go. Negative one equals negative one-fourth times negative four plus b. Two negatives make a positive. Four cancels four. Negative one equals one plus b. You gotta do good math. Additive inverse. Negative two equals b. Here's B, here's M, here's your equation. So if you're getting this wrong, chances are it's because you're not being careful. Remembering two negatives make a positive, remembering that the fours cancel out to be one, making sure you do additive inverse to both sides. So you gotta be careful with all those pieces. I don't think I can fit 19, so go on, 19, sorry if I keep going off screen, 5 comma 0, 2 comma negative 3, I'm going to start stacking them right away, I'm not sure why I didn't do that right away, 0 minus negative 3 over 5 minus 2 equals, add opposite, 3 over 3 equals 1, so... Slope this one. Here's your M. Y equals M X plus B. Choose a point. Any point. This is X. This is Y. Zero equals one times five plus B. Zero equals five plus B. Additive inverse. Zero pairs. B equals negative five. There's B. 
there's m y equals m i don't need the one x plus b minus 5 20 almost there 12 comma negative 2 6 comma positive 2 circle Negative 2 minus 2 over 12 minus 6 equals negative 4 over 6 equals negative 2 thirds. Calculator, add opposite, add opposite, do it in your head, do it smart. M is done. Y equals M X plus B. Pick a point. 6 comma 2. That's X, that's Y y 2 equals negative 2 thirds times 6 plus b cancel 1 2 right 3 goes into 6 twice 3 goes into 3 once 2 equals negative 2 times 2 negative 4 plus b add 4 6 equals b zero pair y equals m x plus b equation last one i'm hoping you're catching on to this remember you can slow the video down negative 5 10 3 comma negative 6 going for slope 10 minus negative 6 over negative 5 minus 3 equals 16 over negative 8. How would I know? Add opposite. Add opposite. You can't get that stuff wrong. Slope is negative 2. Y equals negative 2x plus b. Pick a point. 3 comma negative 6. This is x. This is y. Negative 6 equals negative 2 times 3 plus b. Negative 6 equals negative 6 plus b. Additive inverse. Ooh, obviously. b is 0. Direct variation. y equals m x plus b. No. y equals negative 2x. Done. Okay. Hopefully that helped you out for 8.7 and prepared you better for your quiz. Remember, your notes are super important. You need to make sure you go through them and make sure that you can find each one of the things that you're supposed to. Situation 1, situation 2 with the graph like we did. The tables will be practiced on your quizzes assignment and then given two points.